Well, today I had a fixed part of the foundation and then replaster it and paint it. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today's video, uh, we were supposed to stone this whole foundation. And what happened was the guy died. So what we're going to do is we're going to just plaster this up. But before I do, let me show you what they wanted at one time. Well, I did this stone porch in 2014 and the sidewalks and the stone steps. And we were going to do the whole sides like that around here and around here and the rest of the house. But the guy passed away and it's just not worth it if they want to sell the house. I'm not going to get any more money. The bank won't give anybody more money, whether it's stone or it's gold or whatever. So we're just going to plaster it and paint it. Well, we're in the corner here. And uh, I'm going to have to bring some brick to fill this in. It's not holding anything up. Matter of fact, I'll throw it down in here so there's something to build on. Then I start peeling this off here. And that's on there pretty good. So if it's on there good, we're not going to bother it. You see what I mean? It's on there good. Look at that. It's okay. This is good. That's good. That's good. Look over here, see if this is good. Nope. Get some of that off. Some of it's good, some of it ain't. Okay, so I got that cleaned up. When I come back, I'm gonna fix that and plaster it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna wet this a little bit. Don't have to be wet for brickwork, but I like to do it. And I'm going to fill this in. So I made some rapid set up. Like this. I'm going to fill it in. Very simple. Then, I'll get another brick. Right here. Fill that in. Very simple. Then we'll go this way. Kind of plaster that up. See if this fits. That fits. And we'll go over here. Let's see. Could go this way. Not a big deal, we'll do that. Kind of look down and I can see if I'm in or out here. In my corner. Now the last one. Let's do this, because I know I have to go underneath a little bit, put some on top. That's that. I eye it up down there in my wall. And then, let's see, about right there. back a little bit so the cement don't go down there like that
Okay. Then I'm gonna force it in the back. Make sure I'm under there pretty good. Like that. Let's see over here. That's it. Now, I'm going to plaster the whole face. So, I'm going to wet it first. Just like that. Take this and plaster it. See that? No big deal. Now, this is fast drying. So, might even put another light coat over it for color, but the whole thing's going to get paint. So I'm not worried about it. in. We got that corner in so I'm going to go around and wet everything. First thing I'm going to do is wet everything, get it ready for plaster. I've been working my way to the corner and I already wet it once. I'm just going to give it a fast wet again and then I'm going to get my old school bonding agent. Make sure that's all going to stick. Just like that. You see that? Just like that. And then I want to get up underneath. So I want to make sure I get up underneath. I don't want no critters getting in there. Just like that. I have to. Then, I want to get it down in there against the old stucco. I want it to make sure that it sticks. It's pretty easy, you just go even with it. I put it on a little stiff because I want to make sure that it's thick enough. Very simple. working my way to the corner. This is hard where I laid the brick. Just a little fast spray. Then I get my paint. My uh, old school bonding agent. Go right over it. No big deal. You know, you get better as you do this stuff. I always say start at the back of the building, just a little spot the first day and practice and you'll get it you're picking up uh, a trowel full of cement 
You want it to stay, you go like that, you see? And then it stays. If you don't do that, you pick it up and you turn it and it falls out. You go like this, it stays. So, just to remember that. Get up underneath here. You want to leave no critter holes. You can see the indentations. You want to kind of flatten it out. So all we want to do is just flatten it out. Like that. See that? We got it where we think we want it. We leave it sit for a little while. Ten minutes later and go over it with the trowel again. And it gets hard, it gets a little better as it gets harder. Now we're going around and we're sponging it. Then we're working our corner. You could get the trowel and stick it up and down and get real fancy, but nothing in this foundation is straight. And we don't want to go too crazy with it, see? Just like a sculptor. That's all, it's not a big deal. Just like a sculptor. And we could go a little farther and Come back later. This is a little wet yet, so I'm going to wait another 10 minutes. My sponge and I wring it out. You wring your sponge out. You don't want the water laying all over. Let me just lightly go over the top of it. No big deal. If you got a little hole, you take some from the bottom, and then you just go over that. Blend it all in. No big deal. Okay, I'm all done. Gonna wait 30 days and I'm gonna come back and paint it. Well, I'm back 30 days later and I'm painting over everything I did. I recommend you wait 30 days before you paint over masonry, sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's a real estate deal, sometimes something different. But, that's what I'm doing, paint right over. Well, I'm all done. It uh, painted the whole thing, and everything's uh, hunky dory. And that's it, that's the end of the job. So I'll talk about that job a little bit. Most of these, 99% of these foundations are not a big deal. There's only two foundations in the last 10 years that I had to fix, and that's because cars hit them. I looked at one more where the whole foundation was caving in, an old block cellar, they only used eight inch blocks. They're trying to make a big deal out of it. I says, you gotta dig it out and do it over again. But other than that, 99% of these foundations are not a big deal. Whatever's broke, you fix, you fill it in. If it's not structural, just it's just a patch job. That's all. So I used uh, two mason sand to one half bucket of mortar and one half bucket of Portland. That was the mix. It's a little strong, and the next day you might see these little fine cracks. But I want it rich because the other stuff when I use three three to one, that's why it's falling off all the time. They don't put enough cement in it. But it depends on where you live. If you're living in Florida, it's a different story than up here. I make my old school bonding agent, just get Portland, mix it with uh, water, wet it down, paint over it, and I'm done. I wait 30 days if it is possible. Usually you read the directions on the can. And I use a flat paint, a flat masonry paint, a good flat masonry paint. 
and I never had a call back and never had a tr uh, problem. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you next video.